Have you ever wanted a workout that really gives you the results that you desire? That uses a little bit of equipment because you know that you're strong and you're fed up of just doing bodyweight exercises all the time and following the latest hit program. Well, I've got the workout just for you. This is Greg T. Marsh coming to you live here in the Synergize. And if you're new to this channel, please hit like and then subscribe so you'll be notified every time we release a new video. So this workout is called the Afterburner Number 3 and it's the third in a series of workouts which are fast and furious using a mixture of dumbbells, kettlebells and a little bit of bodyweight exercises. We're going to strengthen your core, strengthen your glutes, strengthen your hamstrings, lose body fat, increase our calorie output, get stronger and we're going to do it all in the next 40 minutes. So all you need is a bottle of water, a towel to wipe down the sweat because you're going to be sweating quite quickly, a good bit of space around you, you're not going to bang your head or bang your knee on any of your furniture or whatever you're doing your workouts. All right, so we're going to get started right now with a dynamic warm-up, then we'll do a technique in demo, then we'll do the main part of the workout which is around 27 minutes long, then we'll do a nice chillaxing cool down towards the end to release all the muscles and release all the stress in the joints and they'll be good to go and we'll start a day in power. If you're ready, let's get going right now. Let's start with a warm-up, take your feet nice and wide, start with some shoulder rolls. Okay, back. Now across the body, crisscross. Now we're going to add in some rotation, so let your body twist side to side, arms be free, legs be free. Just warm it up. Then from here, big hip circles. Then the other way. Okay, feet together, knees together, hands on top, knees. Other way. From here, we're gonna go onto the floor, onto your back. We have knee drops. So take your feet wide. Let your knees go side to side. Open the hips, open your spine. From here, dig the heels in, hip bridges, lift your bum, up and down. Then, Russian twists. So knee over the hips, feet and knees together, let the legs go side to side. Go right across, get a stretch in your spine and then go the opposite way. We'll do two on each side. Keep the head and shoulders down as much as you can. Now, hamstring swings. So, one leg is straight. Hold the leg straight if you can. Five this side. And switch. And roll over into a McKenzie push-up. Hands wide, hip stays on the floor, breathe in as you lift your chest. One more. Now we're going to sit back into child's pose. Bum on your ankles, arms up nice and straight, little stretch, let the head go. Then upper body rotation. So on your hands and knees, one hand behind your ear, this elbow goes down to the opposite wrist, we rotate up. Open up your thoracics, mobilize your upper back. Switch it aside. Then we're going to go into an alternating lunge stretch. You swing one leg in front. You're going to rotate your body to the inside knee, arm in the air, hand comes back down. We swap to the other side. We do two on each side. Last one. Now from here, downward dog, hands to the floor, on your knees, tuck your toes under, stick your bum in the air, let your head go. Slowly walking into a forward bend. So hands to your toes, push your knees back gently. Slowly up we come, and that is our dynamic warm up complete. So after burner, we have five exercises, five sets. Working for 40 seconds in each exercise, 20 seconds recovery in between each exercise. Exercise number one, two dumbbells. On your shoulders. We're going to a squat push press. So we squat down 
Then we drive the hands up nice and quick, and then we're back down. Up, control. Push, one more. Cool, and done. Dumbbells down. Exercise number two is a knee grab sit up. So come onto your back onto the floor. Two options. If you have a sore back, then you need to do the modified version. So it's a half crunch. You just slide your hands on your knees. Otherwise, legs straight, arm straight. You come up, grab your knees into the chest, tuck the chin in, work your abs. Exercise number three is a T push up. So we are wide on the hands, wide in the legs. We do one push up. We then come up and we will take the body to a T stance. Hand goes back down. You drop your body. You rotate to the other side. If you need to modify it, you can go on the knees. You do the push up, but then you come up and you twist. Again, modified on the knees if you need to but then you come up and you do the twist, okay? Then, on your feet, exercise number four, kettlebell swings. So you grab your kettlebell in front of your body. Take your feet wide, lean forward, stretch position. Grab the kettlebell, throw the kettlebell back and forth using your legs, notch your shoulders and notch your back, okay? Exercise number five. We're gonna warm up right now with squats. So take your feet wider than your hips, coming down. In the workout, we're gonna throw in some jump squats. But for now, warm the knees, warm the hips, and just squat. Two more. One more. And that is our technique and demo complete. Get some water, we go in 30 seconds. So, 40 seconds of work in each exercise, 20 seconds in between each exercise. We do all five in a row. Are you good to go? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Squat, now press. Squat, now press. So we come down control, we drive with power. Come down with control, push power. Dig in. Good. Dumbbells on the shoulders. As you squat, keep them wide, push high. Remember, it's one move. Up in one, down in three. Up, and we are done. Cool, dumbbells down. Sit-ups. So come onto the floor, on your back. You choose the option that you need today. So either a modified half crunch, or you go all in for the full sit-up. Three, two, one. Go, up, knees to chest. Took the chin in. Take your time. Little hug. Every time you come up, give yourself a little love. That's it. <laughs> Then try not to throw your arms too much. They're just there to help you in this first round. One more. Nice. We have T push-ups. So go onto your front. Now you decide what level do you need and require. Try it on the toes if you can. You could put a yoga block or something on your chest to restrict your movement if you need to. Three, two, one, go. So it's one push-up, then we rotate. Now the mission is to try not to let your hips twist too much. 
So down to the floor, if you can, or you have a block under your chest to restrict your movement. Knees if you need to, but we keep going no matter what. When we rotate, legs are straight. Bring the hips right down. Make sure those hips come to the floor. Yep, hips all the way down. Touch, rotate, and we are done. Yes. On your feet, kettlebell swings. So set yourself up for success. Kettlebell is in front of your body. Your legs are wide. Lean forward, belly button pulled in. Three, two, one, go, hop. Now I want you to squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs tight. Your mission is to work your lower body. Hamstrings, glutes particularly. Go. Halfway. Thrust. Try and snap your hips as your abs are tight. But avoid leaning back so you can protect your back. Five. Four, three, two, one, done. Squats. Now you have an option here. If you need to, to stay in the squat variant. If you have sore knees, then do not use the jump, okay? We go in four, three, two, one, squat. We're gonna build up into the jumps. Bring your knees forward. Head and chest is up. Squeeze your legs hard. Now keep your knees bent at the top. Don't let them lock. Are you ready for the jumps? In three, two, one, go. So squat, jump. Squat and jump. Remember if you have sore knees, then you just keep squatting. Put your arms behind you. Throw them. Let them give you a fighting chance. Push up the toes. Go, hop. One more. Yeah. Done. One minute recovery. One round complete. Take some breaths in the night and get some water. Good job. Just you for your heart rate. He's now elevated, you're warmed up. Start to build up your sweat. Deep breaths in the night. Twenty seconds. First exercise is squat push press. When you're good to go, get your dumbbells ready. Set position. So your feet are slightly wider than the hips. Toes turned out, and so are your knees. Dumbbells on your shoulders. Go down in three seconds. Three, two, one. Push. Three, two, one. Yes. So we control the lower, and then we throw up with power. Now, if you can, come up in one move. You've got to bend those knees as much as you can, guys. Feet stay flat. Remember, the arms go down at the same time as you bend your knees. So you're catching the dumbbells, and then one more, done, cool. On your back. Sit-ups. Remember your option. You can do the full version or the half version if you need to look after your back a little bit more. Ready, three, two, one, go, hop. Knees to chest. Give yourself a little hug. Tuck the chin in each time. Stay with it. Breathe. Cool. 15 seconds. Keep digging in.
One more. Nice. Cool. Roll over. Push up time. Now, if you're doing the knee version, it's really important that you bring your hips down to the floor. Try not to do this. We don't want to do this, guys. This is going to wreck your shoulders. So you bring the whole body to the floor, okay? Then you come up, and then you do the twist, okay? Right, go. Drop it all the way down. Rotate. Elbows wide. Take your time. There is no rush. May your eyes follow your hand. Wherever your hand goes, your eyes follow. Just come up to vertical. Straight line through the body. T position. Stay in the game. Two more. Last one. Yes. Well done. On your feet. Kettlebell. Set yourself up. Remember, legs wide. We start in that stretch position. This is important. We want to get that abs tight. Little stretch in the hamstrings. And then throw. Hop. Squeeze. Tight. Remember, use your legs, not your back. If you feel your back, it means that your technique is off slightly. So just think a bit, squeeze the bum, arms are nice and relaxed. Ten seconds here. Six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Yes. Nice. Squat time. Feet wide. So you get your hips and your feet on the outside. Turn your toes out. We squat first. Three, two, one. Go. Squat. Knees bent at the top. Keep them bent. Keep them squeezed. Nice. Are you ready to throw in the jumps? Three, two, one. We jump. Squat. Up. Nice. Push. Try and stay upright as much as you can. Stay in the game. Push off your toes. Two more. One more. Yes. Well done. One minute recovery. Two rounds down, get some water. Make sure you feel your heart rate now is up now to around 80% your maximum. going to build up the lactate. Each round is going to feel slightly more challenging now. We're going 20 seconds with our third round of squat push press. Some deep breaths in and out. One more deep breath. Cool. Grab your dumbbells. Set position. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Push. Now, if you can, bring your arms up nice and straight, but the dumbbells never meet. Control, press. So remember, it's one move down. So as the arms go down, so do your legs. Bend your knees and your elbows at the same time. One more. Yes. Good job. On your back. Your mission is to work your abs. So we want to engage your core as much as you can. 
arms above the head. Four, three, two, one. Go up. Tuck your knees into your chest. Slide your heels along the floor. Looking good. Does it feel good? <laughs> yes, come on. Digging deep. Remember, it's all about you and nobody else. It's not how many reps do you do, but it's what you get out of each set. You get ab control, strong core. Give me one more. Well done. We roll over. We have our T push-ups. So a quick recap. If you are on the knees, you've got to bring the hips down with you. So the whole body goes to the floor. You put on the toes, straight line through your body. Four, three, two, one. Slowly down. Now we add the twist. Rotate to the other side. Your legs are strong and long. Core control here. As you twist, try and keep your feet as still as you can. Abs in tight. Chest to the ground if you can. Strong and long in your body. One more. Well done. On your feet. Careful bell. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. 7, 6, lean forward, grab the kettlebell, and go. Hup. Now your abs are tight, so is your ass. Arms are nice and relaxed. Thrust from your hips, keep your knees slightly bent as you lean forward, then lock them out at the top. But just watch that you don't thrust your hips too far forward and you start leaning back. That's when we get injuries. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Nice. Whoa. Feeling it now. <laughs> Deep breath in. Exhale. Squats. Turn your feet out slightly. Let your knees follow. Three, two, one, go. Remember though, your knees stay bent to the top, guys. Keep the tension on your quads. Are we ready for the jumps? Four, three, two, one, hop. Stay upright. Push off your toes. Arms nice and high. Get a bit of height. Bit of height. Yes. Three. Two. One more. Up. Done. Well done. Three rounds down. Get in some recovery for one minute. Little sip of water. Yeah, you feel the ticker going away. <laughs> Deep breath in and out. Get some recovery. As you get fitter and stronger and leaner and lighter, these workouts become easier. So you have to do the work on the outside, remember? Your mobility work, your stretches, your nutrition. It's all tied in together. Here we go, round four, dumbbells. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Slowly down, now press. Remember the elbows and knees come down at the same time. Control, now power. 
Oh, I should be feeling it now. Up. Control, control. Now, can you bring the dumbbells down at the same time as you bend your knees? Yes. One more. Up. Done. Cool. On your back. Sound of feeling? <laughs> Heart rate is up there, yeah? Sweat building up. Okay, here we go. Abs time. Four, three, two, one. Go. Hop. Here we go, the abs are kicking in now. We are halfway in this set. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 10 seconds on the clock. Two more. Give me one more, one more, one more. Hop. Yeah. Push ups. How's the shoulders? They'll start to feel now the strength across your body. Hold on tight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Slowly down. Add in the rotation. You are strong in your core. You are strong in your balance. Take your time. Looking good, looking good. One more here. All the way down. Add in the rotation. And done. Yes. On your feet. Kettlebell set up. Remember your stance. It's slightly wider than a squat stance. Then we lean forward, stretch position. Three, two, one, go. Hop. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze your abs tight. Protect your core. Engage your legs. You want glutes? You gotta squeeze them now. Every time. My kettlebell goes forward. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze your abs. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Done. Yes. Whoa. Straight into the squats now. Start to feel it all build up. Toes out, knees out. Four, three, two, one, go. Take your time. There is no rush here. We're just building up. Can you keep your knees bent? We're jumping in five, four, three, two, one. Come on, get those arms behind you. Lift. Bit of height. Go. Yes. Eight seconds on the clock. One more, one more, one more. Yeah. Oh. Four down. One minute recovery. Only have one more round. Nice. Oh, feel the heart rate. Do you hear the heavy breathing coming on? <sighs> Deep breath in and out. Kitten under legs. Shake your arms. 
Final round, guys. This is it. Our last five minutes here in this walkout. Whenever you're ready, grab your dumbbells. Let's get set up. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Slowly down. Push. Control. Dig in. Push press. Control the lower though. Nice. You've got this. Halfway now. Come on, strength from within. Push. One more, one more. Up. Yeah. Good job. Oh. Wowza. Do you feel the lungs? Yeah. Sit ups. Remember your option. Half crunch if you need it. Otherwise, we go all the way for your last set here. Go up. Yeah, digging, digging each time. Chin to chest, hooky knees. Give yourself a little love each time. Halfway. Beautiful, come on, come on. 10 seconds. Give me one more, one more. Yeah. Push ups. We're doing great. We're just under three minutes to go, and it's all over. Sweat is building up. Heart rate's nice and high. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Slow. Now T style. Control the lower. When you rotate, keep your feet solid if you can. Get a little twist in your spine. Strengthen the core. Almost there, almost there. One more, ready? One more. Go. Twist. And done. Yes. On your feet. Kettlebells. Are we ready? Seven, six, five. Lean forward. Four, three, two, one. Go. Up. Squeeze. Let's go. Dig in right here, right now. Squeeze your ass, squeeze your abs. You've got this. 12 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, done. Oh, yeah. Squats to finish. Feel the burn. Here we go. Last set. Think wide. Time to bring it on, guys. Three, two, one. Squat. I know the heart rate is super high now. And all you don't want to do is stop. But synergizers, they never stop. They find a way. And in fact, they go harder, stronger, longer. In three, two, one. One, jump time. Ready, hop. Come on. This is it. Our finale. You and me, right here, right now. Higher, higher. Three, two, 
One more. Hop. Yeah. We did it. We did it. Oh. For your lungs. Okay, keep marching. Keep marching. Don't stop, don't sit. Wanna bring the heart rate down slowly. Take your time. Okay, deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more deep breath in. Big breath in. Exhale. Super stuff. Time for chill out, cool down, and stretch. Okay. Cool down time. Come onto the floor. Time to chill out, relax, bring down your heart rate, and bring down your stretch rate. On your back. I'm gonna open up your hips, lengthen the muscles, and recover for the rest of the day. So from here, bring one leg up nice and straight, hand behind your thigh, bring this leg over your hip line, feel a stretch in the back of your thigh right here. Start to take some deep breaths in and out, and bring down your heart rate. What I want you to do is rotate your ankle. So basically, like you're trying to draw a circle on the ceiling with your foot. Just after all them jump squats, we want to mobilize the ankle. Do five each way. Now slide your hands up your leg to your calf if you can. Bring your head to the knee. Leave a longer stretch. Now grab your toes, pull them down towards you. Breathe. Nice, when you're ready, switch sides. So hand behind your thigh, rotate the ankle. And gently slide your hands up your leg, knee to your head. Grab your toes, leg straight. Now this ankle crosses it over the opposite knee. Put your hand on the inside of that knee, Brace the ankle and gently push that knee away. When you're ready, put your hand through the middle, grab the knee and pull the whole hip and knee complex in towards you to get a stretch in your glutes. We're going to swap sides, other ankle over the knee. Hand on the inside, push that away. It might feel different to the other side. Just go where it flows. Do more on the restricted side if you need to. Hand to the middle, grab the knee, pull the whole hip and complex in, let the head go. you to do is bring one leg up, other leg is straight across the body and then your upper body goes to the opposite direction. And change to the other side. So one knee goes across, upper body twists to the opposite direction and pull the knee up towards you. So the knees, you're trying to get the knee to the floor. ready go on to your side we're going to stretch our quads so support the head grab the heel or ankle knees together pull your heel in towards your bum and push your hips forward gently whenever you're ready we're going to switch sides from here we're going to go on to the front and come into child's pose so bum is back, arms are long, let the head go. When you're ready, nice big long lunge. One leg goes in front, both hands stay on the floor, put the elbow against the inside of your knee, and then drive your body forward. And get a nice groin stretch. As well as the hip flexors and your glutes. 
from here. We're going to bend both knees, go into the frog stretch. So knees are bent, take them as wide as you can handle, turn your toes out, and then gently you sit your bum back. Then from here, one leg goes in front, nice big long lunge, hands on the floor, elbow against the inside knee, push the knee out, and drive your body forward. We're going to transition into a downward dog. Hands are wide, feet are wide, push your bum in the air, let the heels drop, and let the head go. Nice and slowly walk into a forward bend, grab your toes if you can, bend the knees if you need to, and gently start to push those knees back. Support yourself as you come up. Hands behind your back. Interlock the fingers. Push. Arms behind you. Pull the shoulders back at a nice stretch across the front part of the body. And then one arm over the head in between the shoulder blades. Pull the elbow behind your head nicely into the side. Feel that stretch go right down the body. Then we're going to swap to do the side. From here, big shoulder roll. We always give ourselves a big pat on the back for a job well done and a round of applause from me. Well done. Oh, how was that? That was a sweaty one, wasn't it? That was your afterburner number three. An amazing workout. Great for fitness, for fat loss, functional training for your abs and core. You name it, it's an all-in-one workout. So you can be confident that you are now in power for the rest of the day. The mission now is to recover well, maybe do some stretches, some mobilization, get some good recovery in with your nutrition. So you might have a post-workout meal or post-workout shake. All right, recover later on today. You might do an Epsom salt bath, get some good sleep and make sure that your nutrition is on plan and you're good to go for the next workout. This is Great Team Marsh, here in Synergize, wishing you love, light and happiness, and I'll see you on the next video.